Lindsay Masters covers AI and gave us an in-depth look uh, yesterday. Today, she's highlighting one of those technologies. She also has a hidden talent she sure that does. we didn't know about, Lindsay. Well, I'm learning, right? Uh -huh. I'm just like the students who are going to need this technology. This is artificial intelligence designed to help beginning violin players play better. And in the future, it could help you perfect your own performance or even learn from scratch faster. There is an entire team behind the technology. Snehish Rushta is a PhD student on the project, and Cornelia Fermula helped write the code. How does something that looks like that become this? Under the hood, there is a, a machine learning. What you saw from post learning, machine learning AI. So we train neural networks with data. <laughs> The university captured this footage showing part of the development process. It includes a green screen and motion capture sensors. Now any computer's built-in camera can recognize a human and how they're playing. And then, so allow it to, so you can put it really in between. I got to try out the technology, and I do want to point out that Anna's violin was made in the 1700s. So I decided to go ahead and play the one my father-in-law got me from Amazon, and I am a true beginner. So we're gonna put this on your ball. There's an additional feature. A wrist strap known as a haptic band vibrates and mimics the feeling of the bow across the strings. It provides vibration um, based on the notes that she's gonna be playing. That means I can play to the vibration. So now you're getting feedback here. You need to uh, widen your stance a little bit more, a little bit more. Perfect. And then now you need to hold the violin up. Perfect. I know it might be a little hard to tell in my case, but simply having the right posture improved my playing. And so did playing along with the haptic wristband. It helped me stay in tempo, and it can also help students practice when they don't have their violin with them. I'll be going more in depth tonight on 7 News, and you can share this story with your friends and family. Just go to our WGLA homepage. All right.